Hey everyone, coming at you with something a little different tonight. Uh, no pods to review, so I'm going to do a sauce review on a pretty odd one that a few people are doing right now. Uh, I guess the guy at uh, Squidco is handing these out as samples, pretty much a test audience, I guess, to see how it goes. It's pretty funky. I've been looking at it for a couple days. <laughs> kind of put off, to be honest with you. It's uh, it's an odd one. It's called Squid Vomit. And it kind of looks like that. He definitely made, uh, made it look like it. I don't know if you can be able to see this with my lighting or not. But if you can see that, you'll see what I mean. It's got chunks and it's kind of a, you probably can't see that. It's kind of almost like an orangish brown color. Big chunks, black sesame seeds, which really kind of add to it. I like that. <laughs> Very funky. Anyhow, that's what it looks like. It's Squid Vomit Triple X. I'm not going to try to read these uh, ingredients to you because it's so small on there I had to use a magnifying glass. I can remember most of them. Uh, the base is, sounds like the base is soy and sweet potato, which is kind of cool. I like that. It's different. And it's got, of course, black sesame seeds in it. I know it's boots and habanero and I think uh, chipotle and other red hot or other red peppers. And I don't remember. Uh, onion, garlic something else in there but that's the main ingredients anyhow this is squid co's squid vomit we'll see <laughs> Tell you. there's no extract in it which is good because i wouldn't be eating it i don't really dig that uh, it's really thick so let's see what it looks like here gotta squeeze it bad. It's about half a bottle. Oh, I can smell it. it. smells good. Oh, it's starting to go over the edge. Gotta go. Mmm. Oh, you can definitely taste the sweet potato. It's the prevailing ingredient. And it's pretty chunky like vomit probably isn't a good thing to say when you're reviewing the sauce, but I think they did it on purpose. But wow, it's really tasty, holy crap. Got a nice burn starting on my tongue. Tongue and roof of the mouth. But woo, that's good. Sweet potato, it's kind of a sweet sauce. It's got the soy in there. I don't know if it's got soy sauce or what he used for soy. I can't really taste soy sauce, so it's not oriental tasting or anything like that. It's got a, it tastes like pureed sweet potatoes with a lot of garlic and onion. And I can taste a little bit of boot. can't really taste the habanero. I can feel the heat of it. It's pretty good. It's not blowing my head off or anything. Now my lips, where I just lick my lips, are burning pretty good, but it's starting to trail me down a little bit here, too. But yeah, that's a that's a tasty one. I like that. I can eat the hell out of that on food. It's got a really savory taste to it because of the sweet potato. And it wasn't pureed at all. It was like uh, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe maybe just mashed. Almost like hand mashed. It was different sized chunks in there and really good. But the texture was excellent. It's got oil in it. I don't know if that's. Uh, I bet that's sesame oil. That he put in it. It just says sesame in it. I know that's the sesame seeds, but something separating out of it when you let it sit. And it's a little layer of oil. And I thought at first it was going to be uh, extract when I saw that, but I was assured it wasn't. Well, I can tell it's not. It tastes like a nice natural burn. It's got a nice burn going on. It's lighting me up pretty good, but it's not freaking me out. I don't rate sauces or anything, but heat levels but if I was going to I'd say it's probably a six the triple X and I know he makes a four X too <clears throat> get me in the throat a little bit though and uh, yeah I'll be eating that in a hurry uh, that was sent to me by Matt on Facebook I appreciate it thanks Matt it was nice of you to send it 
and tomorrow, I might even do it later tonight, I'm not sure, I'm going to do a review of another one. It's a personal sauce of uh, Girls Gone Wild, I think her name is on YouTube, Terry. I'm going to check hers out next, and it looks pretty mean. Ooh, that one's got me a little nervous because it looks like a chili paste, and it smells just volatile. But I will definitely do it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. And I guess this is a this is a microbrew, and uh, he's just trying to figure out. I guess sounds like he's testing water. So keep your eye on it. Get a chance to try it. It's good. It's excellent flavor. There isn't anything wrong with this at all. Really good, savory, wholesome flavor to it, and good heat. I'm still burning. Still kind of picking up. My lips are. But anyhow, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.